as you can see walking through here you get a lot of inspiration from nature as well that uh, we've got a a tree stump here with lots of moss on it and look how beautiful that looks when we uh, sort of check it out closer <laughs> We're talking about all things botanical related which means essentially taking items from nature and placing them in our aquariums now here as you can see we are in a big woodland area and pretty much all these things on the floor that are brown are botanicals or potential items that could be used within a fish tank now not everything is uh, able to be used but sometimes people use these items and take them home boil them up and put them in their aquarium the idea of taking a, uh, a sort of a step in the Blackwater area is to take items such as these or ones found in natural river streams um, in the tropical countries of the world and placing them in our aquariums to give it a more sort of uh, a natural feel. Obviously then that benefits the fish and uh, any other animals that are there with the introduction of botanicals can bring out natural behaviors, places for fry or shrimplets to grow graze on, eat, uh, breed, the, the list is endless really. As I said, there's plenty of uh, things that can be sort of scavenged from uh, a woodland area, such as items like these, which are um, chestnut leaves. And uh, many people place these in their aquariums. I've tried it myself plenty of times and uh, I've had no issues so far, even with shrimp. Um, so it's always a great one to try out. As you can see, walking through here, you get a lot of inspiration from nature as well. Uh, we've got a a tree stump here with lots of moss on it and look how beautiful that looks when we uh, sort of check it out closer. There are a lot of items that can be used in aquariums such as cones, pods, leaves, twigs. Um, honestly, the, the list is endless with things. Um, obviously, we have to be careful with the kind of things that we put in. Some can be considered dangerous, um, especially items that have sap in them still. Um, so we need to make sure that those items are thoroughly dried out and dead before we even attempt to, to use them in a fish tank. As you can see, walking through the woods is when you really get inspired by nature. Um, and that's how many people create their sort of natural habitat environments or aquascapes or terrariums and it's a place to just get really inspired by nature and the natural elements. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a few bits that I've collected and also that I have sitting at home and we're going to boil them up and uh, put them in our fish tank. Just found a load of natural moss here which I'm going to take home and use for a uh, a terrarium or something that I'm working on in the future so yeah again lots of free stuff here and it's really dried out got a little bit of dirt still left with it so it's a, it's a brilliant product to have all right then so here's a small collection of the type of botanicals that you can use in an aquarium so as I said you've got items such as chestnut leaves these ones have been dried um, and collected from uh, the middle of the woods um, again like I said if you're going to collect them in a woods or anything then make sure that you're miles away from where uh, any sort of pollution can be or contaminants um, and then then ones have been left for about <sighs> four weeks now um, so they should be good to go but then I'm going to boil them um, you got items such as banana stems here um, I've got uh, catapa leaves um, what else have we got as I said the lotus pods um, you've got a mangrove leaf pods um, these amazing pods are like I've got one in my aquarium right now and it is eight months just over nine months and it's not even barely even broke down so uh, yeah great great product to use so all you need really is a saucepan and some water um, stick it on a boil and then we I generally do probably about 20 to 40 minutes worth of uh, boiling and then I will drain the water and uh, then get the botanicals out and put them in our aquariums so let's get to it all right guys it's been about 40 minutes now I'm um, just over so everything should be pretty good um, as you can see some of the pods still float but um, once they get heavily waterlogged in the aquarium it shouldn't be too bad but look how nice and dirty that water is um, but yeah what we're gonna do is tip that out and then um, just rinse the botanicals in a bit of tap water and then um, we'll put them in the aquarium
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos, especially the ones in this uh, Blackwater Aquarium series. And until next time, you stay safe.